In this sketch, we'll be covering C. difficile. That C once stood for Clostridium, but alas, phylogenesis has revealed that it is not, in fact, a clostridial species. Imposter, I say! So, now that C stands for Clostridioides. So, Clostridioides difficile. For reasons that are as obvious as they are disgusting, we've sent our C. diff sketch in a chocolate factory. While it may be upsetting to think about, it's also highly memorable, and that's what counts. Anyways, here at the factory, cluster candies with different flavors are the specialty. Moving on with the tour, it's easy to see why C. diff was originally classified under the genus Clostridium. They have a lot in common, at least when it comes to basic features. Like Clostridia, C. diff is a gram-positive bacillus and an obligate anaerobe. We've included some purple rod candies in our chocolate stream to remind you of C. diff's morphology. And the oopsie poopsies are wearing our recurring symbol for obligate anaerobes, anaerobic gas masks. Also, like clostridial species, C. diff is a spore former. Bacterial spores are notoriously hard to kill. They are resistant to a whole bunch of stuff, including heat, radiation, and many chemical agents. Walnuts are our recurring symbol for bacterial spores, so we've sketched some walnuts ready to get layered in a coat of fecal matter. <laughs> uh, chocolate. Yes. Mm hmm definitely chocolate. Remember, millions of bacteria, yes, even the bad ones, are quietly present throughout the human body. This is called colonization. However, if something, like uh, an antibiotic, throws off the balance, the bad bacteria can grow and spread, causing some nasty symptoms. This is called infection. C. diff can be considered part of the normal gut flora, which is why we've included these normal candy flowers. 